Knicks lose last night in Boston. It wasn't even pretty. Boston has won six. <laughs> the last six games, they've won. It's the highest point differential to six game span in NBA history. They've beaten their opponents by 179 points. That's a plus minus. That's a differential, point differential in Boston's last six games. As they won 11 in a row, they improved to 29 and 3 at home. Um, it's the least amount of points when Draymond, Steph, and Clay start together. 16 points they score total. But the team didn't look, it was a, it was a dud. They laid a dub, but overall, I think three and one on a road trip. In a four-game road trip, and then you go 13-4 and four in your last 17, you're right back where you need to be. You're a couple games out of that sixth spot. Um, so they're playing better basketball. I don't want last night's game to deter a lot of fans or a lot of people say, oh, man, the Warriors stink. They got exposed, whatnot. I'm sure it was a measuring stink game. But to me, to me, they're playing Really good basketball. I know I'm not going to let that what happened yesterday. That's an anomaly. It happens in the NBA. Well, I looked at the Knicks game, and I thought that was a big win. You yep. know, that that was a big-time win. The Raptor win was was very nice. And then, you know, on that Friday night, I'm sitting there, and I'm just, I'm just you know, sitting back, trying to take a, a, a bigger zoom-out view, and I'm saying to myself, it sure feels like I feel as good about the team yep. as I have in multiple seasons, going back to the 2022 championship. Yep. And no one is saying they're as good as that championship team because, you know, you got to get into the playoffs first. But in terms of cohesion, uh, in terms of style of play, seeing – a variety of guys playing good ball together right. in terms of the chemistry, ball movement, defensive assignments, uh, switching, helping. Right. It does feel like they are playing some of the best basketball they've played right. in multiple seasons. No, they have. They, this is the best stretch. It's the championship season. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that. So they're going to be fine. They're, it, look, they'll play Milwaukee on Wednesday. You got Chicago Thursday. You got Wimby, who's playing a lot better. Uh, Wimby's going to be a special, special talent. He comes to town on Saturday. They have two straight games against the Spurs. One here at Chase Center Saturday, and then one down in San Antonio next Monday. Then next week, you have to go to Dallas and the Lakers. You have to win those yes. games. Those games are a lot more important to the game yesterday. And again, psychologically, it just felt like Boston needed that game for their own souls, even though they were rolled, and even though they're 48-12. and 12, they had lost to the Warriors at Chase Center. Tatum played poorly in that game, losing it overtime when he went 5-17 of from the floor, 2-9 of for the three-point line. It just felt like Boston psychologically wanted that game a lot more and needed that game a lot more. But look, overall, look, you could say the Warriors lost to the Clippers and the Nuggets and the Celtics and they're losing to these good teams. You don't have CP3 against the Nuggets. That series was close. I know you didn't win the game, and moral victories don't matter around these parts, but they are playing. It's how the form is. How are you three. playing? How the are you playing heading to the playoffs? I'm sorry. But the, 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 the 4 0 against the Nuggets. Jokic hit one of the most incredible shots. 40 foot bank shot. I mean, come on. You lost on Christmas <laughs> Day at the buzzer, basically. So it, 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 they'll be fine. Now, Denver's tough. No doubt about that. Oh, no, that. they're a great I team. I mean, when you get into a close game at half court, I agree. late in the game, you got Jokic, you got Jamal Murray. Ask the Lakers Saturday night. They can't beat the Nuggets either. That made you happy. Ah. Uh, no, I mean, look, it's tough, man. How Jamal about, Murray's so cold. How about 40K for our king? Huh? The Lakers stink! Huh? Hey, 40,000 points. Potential warrior? 40,000 points for LeBron James is pretty impressive. It, that pretty is, impressive. That is, it's that is, incredible. That is, for that a is, pass first guy? That is unbelievable. A guy dropped 40,000, and he's not slowing down. Let, Where's he going to get to? 42, 43, 44, 45? Not five, not six. <laughs> I love how all these milestones are coming in losses, too. It's great. Well, I mean, he's coming straight to the dubs next year. You know that's coming. And and Chris Paul's going to take a sweetheart deal, and Clay's going to take a little off top, and and we're going to bring back all the Avengers. It's going to be the Expendables, all old guys. It's going to be amazing. And Kaminga. <laughs> no, but honestly, I, I'm looking at where the Warriors are at right now, and, and I say to myself, like, Clearly, Steph is is still Steph, even though the knee injury nope. is. It's not alarming because that's too too mm -hmm. deep of a stretch. It's just something to monitor, right? Yeah. They, they need him. I think Clay's playing a good brand of basketball as of late, and and that has me excited. And, and I, I like seeing uh, TJD kind of jump up in the rotation over Looney and over Saric. Like Saric has not been good, but I'm crediting Steve Kerr for you know like realizing like, all right. Something's not working. Let's switch this thing up. Right. And then, obviously, Moses Mooney's been given opportunities this last week that that he hasn't seen prior to that. And I feel like he's 
He's showing a little something. I still yep. don't know where I'm at with Moody, right. just like big picture. But like he's he's showing me a little something, something. Defensively, I think he's showing me a lot. Individually, what he did to Jalen Brunson the other night in New nice. York City, that was nice. I think he's uh, hitting the three ball. Dude, it, it's Moody's playing very good basketball right now. That's a good sign. Again, they're able to withstand the absence of Andrew Wiggins, and hopefully he comes back sooner rather than later as he deals with personal issues. But the form. Their form is playing well. And I want them hubby play their best basketball going into the playoffs. Here's the deal with the Celtics. And every you could see, you could be the best team right now. But in Boston, nobody cares about that. You gotta win a ring if you're the Celtics. Oh, I thought you were thinking they're going, you know, Red Sox baseball. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Not hard Rafael Knox, Devers. Red, Red, Hard Knocks Red Sox. I mean, this is the least appealing Red Sox team For, in ages. Yeah. You tip me up now that you're bringing up Boston and we're going Northeast. Patriot Dynasty on Apple Plus is legit. Oh, it's, it's amazing. Legit. Legit. It's legit. It's legit. The only problem that I have with this documentary and those that haven't seen it, please check it out. It's still going on. I believe they're at episode six or something like that. I didn't realize how big of an egomaniac Bob Kraft's kid is. <laughs> Bob Kraft's kid is trying to rewrite history like he was at like on his dad's hip the entire time. Am I the only one that's tripping off that? <laughs> probably. No, probably somebody else. <laughs> I wasn't really tripping off of that, but uh <laughs> and Dynasty is sick. I want to finish it first before Ty I get to it. I don't want to spoil it. Ty Law, one of the most oh, underrated quarters really in, uh, in NFL NFL history. Ty Law, Lawyer run. Malloy. They changed the bumper on rules because of Ty Law and what he did to Marvin Harrison in that AC title game in the mud at Foxborough Stadium. Well, he really did unfair. assault those guys. No, he didn't assault us. Physical football, man. Come on now. <laughs> assault. And then uh, the Drew Bledsoe aspect at the beginning. For those that haven't seen it, right. I would I would highly recommend, if you like sports docs, seeing that documentary. Documentary. And, and now as I tie it to the Warriors, there are things that happen during right. a 10 to 20 year run when you have the, the wild success that those two organizations have had in terms of leadership, mm -hmm. power struggle dynamics, all of the crazy like right now Wiggins is out for the Warriors right. at some point down the line. I'm sure people will find out what's going on. Um, Things that happened with the Patriots that they kept under wraps that have now kind of gotten out, like Drew Bledsoe not being happy at all the entire time That's, about that. That is that is crazy. Right? People forget he won the Pittsburgh game. Brady got hurt in the AFC Championship game against Pittsburgh. I thought People Brady forget blew about his that. knee out on that play. People forget, and then Belichick had the gall <laughs> to go back to Brady for the Super Bowl when Bledsoe was like, "Wait, what? I just helped you win and get to the Super Bowl." And that's you know the greatest of all time or one of the greatest of all time is basically birthed there for the Patriots. Incredible. They win their first Super Bowl. It's really incredible.